Well, technically, it's a hydrogen on demand hybrid. What we have here is distilled water with one teaspoon of baking soda used as a catalyst. We tickle that water with 12 volts of electricity, and what it does is it separates the hydrogen from the oxygen. That gas is then sent into the combustion chamber where I was formerly getting a 30% burn. That's right, in all of your gas vehicles, you only get a 30% fuel burn, which translates to 70% of your fuel, of your gas, comes out of your tailpipe. Now, how However, I'm getting a 100% burn in my combustion chamber, which means a few benefits. Number one, after a couple hours of running hydrogen, it had blown years of deposits out of my engine. My engine actually idles so quietly in city traffic, I can't even hear it. My torque increased, my horsepower increased significantly, and like I said, right now I'm getting 56% better gas mileage highway, and I'm getting 35% better gas mileage city. Safety. Of course, that's a huge concern here. We're talking about hydrogen. Look out, it's gonna blow! Just kidding, actually it can't blow. Remember, you're not storing hydrogen. This is hydrogen on demand. Since it's hydrogen on demand, there's never enough hydrogen in the line at any given time to cause an explosion or a fire in the case of an accident. If you do happen to get in a car accident, you've got water and broken glass, and that's it. This is a 100% safe system. Now after about 3,000 miles, your water is going to end up looking like this. It gets dirty, and this is what's referred to as blooms. It's a byproduct of the distilled water, the baking soda catalyst, and the electricity 